What's up, friends? I am back at it again today with everybody's favorite, another thrifting video. Keeping this intro short because clearly I already am all like bundled up and it's gonna get really hot in a second, but just a quick outfit situation. Um, have both my sweater and pea coat from H&M. I'm literally obsessed with this pea coat and I've gotten like a million compliments on it. It definitely is too big, but I felt like that was good for, you know, like layering in the winter. And then just, you know, some Lulu leggings and these Nasty Gal combat boots that I showed in my haul that I've been obsessed with. They're so cute and I've been wearing them all the time. They're actually really comfortable. I did definitely already like scuff them up, but I mean, that's the problem with white shoes, especially in New York in the winter. So what are you gonna do? And this beanie is from God knows where. I've probably had it for years. Um, going to Catherine's later on tonight. So I figured it was a perfect excuse to go thrift shopping in Williamsburg. So that's what we're gonna do. Mother of Junk was clearly like the most overwhelming thrift store I've ever been in, but it was really cool. I mean, it's literally just a bunch of junk, but like definitely cool to find little knickknacks or like dishware or something like that. So on to the next, I think it's a crossroads location. What's up? It's the next day. Um, naturally, in New York winter fashion, it got like pitch black at around, you know, 
five o'clock. So um, I went to Catherine's and just called it a night there. But wanted to end this video with like a little recap, give you guys the tea on the places that I went and do a little try on of the few things that I got. So first things first, all of the places that I went were actually pretty expensive, except for Mother of Junk. The actual like apparel places that I went were pretty expensive. Um, because there was no like goodwill or anything in Williamsburg. There's just more like boutique type thrift shops. So um, Mother of Junk was just like wanted to go explore and see what it was about. It is exactly what it sounds like. It's like a ton of junk. It was the most overwhelming and crowded thrift store I've ever been in. Had just like a bunch of random knickknacks knickknacks and like random crap basically um i didn't end up getting anything it would be cool if you wanted like i don't know cool like plates or like glass glassware or like random stuff like that it is cool to just go see what you could find like those postcards that had like written notes on them like those were really cool random like new york souvenirs maybe but other than that like it was just nothing that you know i needed in my life moving on to Crossroads, literally one of the coolest thrift stores I've ever been in. Like one of the best thrift stores I've ever been in as far as like the actual stuff that they had. Um, it was so well organized, so well merchandised. They had amazing brands. Like I, wait, I literally wrote down brands that they had. Um, let's see. They had brands like Nike, Outdoor Voices, Uniqlo, Kappa, Adidas, Zara, H&M, Page, Fila, Acne Studios, Theory, Levi's, Madewell, Habitual, Blank NYC, J Brand Equipment, Free People. They had so many good shoes. Like um, they had tons of Vans and sneakers and like Fila's and they even had like Jeffrey Campbell's, um, Michael Kors, Mark Fisher, Aldo. They had Air Force Ones. Um, Nine West Heels, like a bunch of stuff like that. So everything was really good there. The two things that I got ended up being from there. Um, I'll show you now. First things first. This is gonna be my pride and joy. I'm literally so excited about this. It was $32.50. So like I said, expensive. But like this is the kind of thing that you would find in a vintage store for like $150, I'm convinced. So. It's this oversized black denim jacket with these Kurt Cobain patches. Literally like his signature in there. It was so dope and the back has a patch with his picture on it. So like, let me try this on really quick. It's just an oversized jacket, um, which is, you know, pretty self-explanatory, but like the Kurt Cobain personalized part, like so sick. I'm so excited to style this. Um, just like, give me your opinion though in the comments because, let's see. I'm trying to figure out if I should, if it could focus, if I should cut it at all. I mean like, the pockets are kind of low so it would be like only a little bit maybe. Or I could cut it to like, so there's no pocket. So what do you think it would look better as? Like, more of a cropped look or keep it big and oversized? I think I'm gonna keep it big and oversized, but let me know if you think that it would look good shorter. Cause like the sleeves are obviously very big, but like I couldn't pass it up. It's just too good. I think I'm gonna keep it the way it is though, in its integrity. So, moving on. Okay, so the other thing that I got from there were these liquid leather pants. They're like, you can literally hear them. They're so tight, but they're originally from H&M. Got them for $16.50. Um, so obviously with thrift stores and most stores in general right now, you can't really try things on in the store. I'm trying to show you guys like the fabric of them. They're pretty cool. Um, so I'm glad that they fit well, but the problem is that like I thought they were gonna be higher waisted. I really never wear pants this low waisted, but I still think they could be cool with like, you know, the type of shirt I'm wearing right now, not like necessarily this exact shirt, but like a longer one, you know, obviously not a crop top. Um, and yeah, I still think they're gonna be cool. So I'm still glad I got them. And now we can move on to the other stores. 
Also, I just want to mention me not knowing that those pants were weren't gonna be like high-waisted on me is just my own fault out of pure laziness. The fact that you can't try things on right now doesn't mean that you can't know if things are gonna be high-waisted on you or not. So like pro tip, if you wanna know like how high-waisted pants are gonna be when you're looking for like jeans or whatever in a thrift stop, in a thrift store, just before you go, measure your inseam and um, like measure the distance between your waist and your seam down there and then um you can measure the actual pants in the store and you'll know how high up they're gonna hit you on your hips or your waist so that's that okay next up were buffalo exchange and monk vintage they were right next to each other so they were super convenient and they were also only a few blocks away from crossroads so you can hit all these spots very quickly and very conveniently. Buffalo Exchange was also really good. Um, it was a little bit smaller, so it just was like a little bit more crowded and had, you know, like more stuff in a smaller space. So it was a little hard to like actually see everything, but they still had a lot of really good stuff. Um, it was like equally as expensive as the other one. And they caught my eye for having a lot of good winter stuff. Like they had some really good jackets. Like they had like this fleece lined um, hunter, brand waterproof like jacket which would be really good for winter they had a lot of like you know fleece jackets fur jackets north faces that kind of stuff um hats scarves the whole thing so would recommend them for that they also had a lot of really good like basketball jerseys and i even found this like gucci t-shirt which i it was literally 14 dollars. like it couldn't have been real i'm still confused on that one i looking at it i don't think it was real but like I just don't understand what it was doing there. So there's that. And then um, they also equally had a bunch of good brands like Vince, Uniqlo, Gap, J. Crew, Adidas, Kate Spade, Rebecca Minkoff, Nike. You know the vibes. So, oh, they also had a bunch of really good graphic tees. So would recommend them for that as well. At Monk Vintage, they had a really cool setup. Everything was like really colorful and um, just like, well merchandised like it was cool in there um it was like visually interesting they had a lot of good like more vintage like the name type pieces that were like these really cool vests and denim jackets and like stuff like that some of the brands that they had were like carl lagerfeld guess seven for all mankind um let's see what else do they have j crew oh they had lots of free people um there was this like free people shirt that's like their classic waffle shirt with like um the different fabric on the sleeves that i really wanted to get but it was like 24 dollars. so again still not like super cheap considering it's a vintage store not a thrift store so it is going to be a little bit more expensive um so i didn't end up getting it they had this equipment um or not equipment it was everlane it's everlane teal sweatshirt that i really wanted again that was like 25 dollars. so just not you know the thrift finds that I was looking for, even though they did have some really cool pieces. And then lastly, an honorable mention, hold on, I have to sneeze. <coughs> okay, honorable mention, this is not a thrift store, but I did get it yesterday. It was like absolutely freezing outside. And um, I was like getting onto the subway and I saw a street vendor with like a bunch of winter stuff. And I ended up getting a pair of gloves and then also these two beanies. They're literally like, okay, let me use the white one. That'll probably show up on camera better. Like very thick, warm, you know, good quality beanies. They were $5 each. The gloves were like $4. And I mean, they're like the same exact beanie that you would find in like an Urban Outfitters. And they had a ton of different colors. And I just wanted to give it an honorable mention and say, don't sleep on the street vendors um they've got good stuff too so always keep an eye out and you never know what you're gonna find so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you made it this far please give me a like and subscribe for more videos like this or you know any other videos you want to see just let me know in the comments and i think that's about it for today i'll see you guys in the next one bye